So here we'll see how to use a calculator to multiply matrices to calculate a board account for question 8 on page 12 of your text. We'll first need to enter data into the matrices. So let's set up the matrices by pressing second and then matrix. We need to edit matrix A. So we'll go across to edit. Matrix A is selected. Press enter. We need a 4x4 four four matrix. That's four rows and four columns for this. Because there are four candidates and four groups. So we'll press 4, press enter, press 4, press enter. And now what we're going to do is we're going to enter the points assigned to A by each of the four groups in the first row of the matrix. I'll say that again. We'll enter the points assigned to A by each of the four groups in the first row of the matrix. The first group assigned four points to A. The second group assigned two points to A. The third group assigned one point to A. And the fourth group assigned two points to A. Now we're on the second row, and we're going to follow the same procedure for B. So the second row represents points assignments for B. The first group assigned one point for B. The second group assigned four points for B. The third group assigned three points for B. And the fourth group assigned one point for B. So now let's go through C. The first group assigned two points to C. The next one. And we continue like this. Lastly, we enter the points assignments for um, D, and these are as follows. When we finished entering the matrix, we press second quit. But now we need to return to the matrix menu to enter a matrix which represents the number of people in each group. So we press second matrix, go across to edit, and this time we want to edit matrix B. Since matrices involve multiplying rows by columns, B is going to be a column matrix, so it will have four rows and one column. And we'll enter the values now by pressing enter. 16 people in the first group, 20 in the second group, 12 in the third group, seven in the fourth group, and then when we finished entering the matrix, press second quit. So what we've got are two matrices. One represents the points assignment by group, and the other represents the number in each group. When we multiply those, we'll get the total points for each of the candidates. To multiply them, we need to call them up from the matrix menu. So we press second, and X to the negative one again to see the matrices. To choose one, we press enter when that matrix is selected. We press enter now, we select A. Then we press the multiplication key. Back to the matrix menu to select B. We need to scroll down to select B, press enter. And to do the multiplication again, we press enter. And there it is. Which means that A is 130 points. B 139, C 128, and D 153. And that's it.